Sungrazer project originated uh, actually at NASA um, around the years of 2000, 2001 and it has been operating ever since. It's one of the longest running citizen science projects. Essentially that NRL has built this fantastic telescope that's out in space, it's looking at the sun, looking at coronal mass ejections and all the fun stuff that comes off of the sun that we, that we care about here at NRL. But it also turns out that this particular camera is really sensitive to seeing tiny little comets that go flying by the sun. And comets are some of these very cold, primitive, icy pieces that got sent to the very far reaches of our solar system. And they've essentially remained intact. Now when you get one of these icy objects, these primitive objects, and bring it in right near the sun, then you start to basically melt it down, like a, a snowball, essentially. And as it's doing that, it's releasing all of the, the different uh, materials that, that compose that. And so, essentially, by studying comets, we're really we're studying what our entire solar system is made of. Perhaps a better example is a, a windsock on an airfield. The, the windsock is out there, and it's reacting to the, the airflow around it. So. In a similar sense, we can observe comets as they're flying into the sun, through the sun's atmosphere, and we're getting an idea of the, uh, the environment that they're encountering really close to the sun. Sun grazing comets are not going to answer all of the questions that we have about space weather, and they're not going to provide the critical answers, but they provide small pieces of information and very, very unique pieces of information that we can't obtain any other way. And so it, it's all about building up a very complicated picture from as many little pieces as we can put together.